Hey everyone, Justin here, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to weave text in and out of an object in a photo in Photoshop. So let's grab our text tool and write out an, a word, for example. And then I'll center my text just so you guys can see. So what I want to do is I want to make some letters like the E and the Y go behind the pyramid and also the T, but I want to make the P and the G stay in front. So how we're going to do that is using layer masks. So I'm going to actually take my original photo layer, I'll right click and duplicate it, and then I'm going to drag it above my text layer. So at this point we have a little bit of a sandwich going on, but we only want some parts of this top layer to show. So to start, let's go to layer, layer mask, hide all. So this is just going to create a layer mask for us to work on, and it's going to hide the entire image to start, and then we're only going to bring out certain portions of the photo that we want. So since the pyramids are so geometric and straight, I can just use the polygonal lasso tool to create nice clean lines. However, you could use a mix of the quick selection or the pen tool to create your selections if you're dealing with more complex cutouts. First thing we're going to do is working on the layer mask, we're going to cut out the first part of the image that we want to cover up. So this E has to go behind the pyramid, so I'll just make a quick selection and that's about perfect there and then I'll right click and fill this selection with white because remember in layer masks white reveals and black conceals so we've just filled in that portion with white and you can see that the pyramid now sticks in front of that E a little bit and I'm actually gonna switch the text over to white so you guys can see better alright that's what I wanted to do now let's make the Y disappear in the same way so I'll create that selection and if you actually I'll deselect if you want to see what you're working with because the Y kind of covers it up in this case I can kind of tell because it's a triangle but if you want to see what you're doing you can lower the opacity for a little bit that way you could see behind it and see what you're working with if you're working with more complex shapes so I'll grab this section here and then I'll actually just work on add to selection mode and I'll also grab this next section because I know I'm going to have to do it anyway. At this point, make sure you're highlighted on your layer mask and we'll right click and fill these selections once again with white and that'll bring forward that part of the image. And now I can turn the opacity back up on my original layer and you can see that some parts of this image go behind the pyramid and some go forward. You've got a little bit of wiggle room if you want to play with the pixels left or right a little bit because of the way we did the masks. But if you end up completely changing your text, then you're going to have to add to your layer masks or adjust them a little bit. So keep in mind with this method, you've got a little bit of wiggle room if you want to adjust things a few pixels either way. Another quick tip if you want to add one more step, this is optional if you want to add some shading, is to create a new layer right above your text layer. So layer, new layer, and then use a clipping mask to clip this layer onto the text. So layer, create clipping mask. And now we're gonna paint in some shadows just by grabbing our brush tool using a large soft brush and a black color. And I'll even lower the opacity of this to about 25%. And then I can highlight the letter and use the edge of that soft round brush to create a little bit of a shadow and create some more separation between the pyramid and the letter. But you can get creative with the final details as much as you like and play around with it yourself. But hopefully this tutorial showed you guys how to weave letters of text in and out of an object in a photo and showed you a little bit about the ways you can use layer masks and clipping masks in Photoshop. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel here and check out my other Photoshop tutorials. And also leave me a comment if you had any questions or comments. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for sticking along. And I'll see you next time.